This week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. Holy cow, buddy. Rain, not easy. Our number one hit list buck. All right, so here we are. We got him this morning. I'm Bob Weibel with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and welcome to this week's hunt. And remember, no matter the size of the horns or the length of the beard, you can't kill them from the couch. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Bee Stinger, Gold Tip. Timberland Realty Ridge Runners Guide Service Insane Archery Longhorn Fab Shop Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters Vapor Trail And also by these fine sponsors Until you've been there, you can't tell the story. Once most have been there, all they can do is tell it. But if you capture it, you can show it. Forever. Visit InsaneArcher.com to get your camera bow mount and capture the hunt. Strutters, bringing you sound from a round. Find us on Facebook or visit us on the web at www.strutterswithaz.webs.com. Ridge Runners Guide Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV. This week we're going to switch it up a little bit. 
we're going to follow Mark Rothling on a couple of antelope hunts. One where he's behind the gun and one where he's behind the camera. When it comes to antelope hunting, you don't see much of it with us here on DeerHunterFan.com, but uh, when you do, it's from Mark, as he lives out in South Dakota, right on the Nebraska-South Dakota border. So he gets to hunt both states, and he gets into a lot of different game. And traditionally, when you hunt antelope with a rifle or a bow, it's spot and stalk. And if it's with a bow, a lot of times it's in a ground blind over water, because when you're hunting in September, man, it can be pretty hot, and those animals want to get to that water. Both these hunts are later on though, and it's during the gun season for antelope, and they're both spot and stalk hunts. We're going to jump in on the hunt with Mark behind the rifle to start things off. Well, it's the last day of rifle antelope season. Still got a tag left. I've been bow hunting deer, haven't really put much time into it. Don't care too much about the rifle antelope, but I'm going to go out and just do a little self-filming. See what happens. Just doing a little self-filming rifle antelope. It's kind of fun. Let's go take a look at them. Nice goat. Looks like that exit hole did the job. Didn't have much time to hunt, so wasn't going to be too picky. Actually, this is the last day. There's only a couple hours of season left. 
but managed to put down a, a goat, get it on video. Oh yeah. It's always fun. Get this baby cleaned up, put him on a rack pack. It's gonna be tasty. As you saw, Mark put a great shot on that antelope. And this past year, this next one is, is from this past year, and Mark's behind the camera with one of his buddies. But Mark was also able to take an antelope with his bow this past year. Unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, it wasn't able to be caught on camera. So we can't show you that, but uh, we can show you a quick little picture of it. It was a nice buck. And this next hunt is actually for a real nice buck. And they were on this buck for a couple days, trying to get him with a bow. Got him in the to close range a couple of times. Just couldn't get a shot at him. He spooked away a couple of times. And then they actually were there hunting during the bow season and it bumped up into the rifle season. So they decided to go with a rifle after a couple of days of being frustrated chasing this nice goat around, well, the next day they're out with a rifle, so they didn't really have to worry about how close he was. He's about 250. Hamburger, buddy. Oh, is he going down? He's done. Is he? Holy cow, buddy. Well, here we are, opening morning, rifle season, 8 o'clock. Got this guy down. Hunted him two days straight with a bow. Yesterday we had eyes off of him for only about 45 minutes from daylight to dark. Put him to bed last night, and he was about 200 yards from where we put him to bed. And it was a pretty interesting hunt. Boy, there was hunters going through like pheasant hunters, walking this walk in out, and he ended up sneaking back through the line and made about a 250-yard shot on him from the top of the hill over there, down in the fence. Put the smack down on him. Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is located in Coshocton, Ohio. If you're serious about hunting mature whitetails, Ohio is one of the best places in North America. Trophy deer hunting takes plenty of productive land and minimal hunting pressure. With over 8,000 private acres, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters is the ideal place for your next trophy. Visit them on the web at ohiotrophybuck.com. You don't have to go to Illinois, Iowa, Kansas. We've got the same caliber of deer right here. Strutters, bringing you sound from a round. Find us on Facebook or visit us on the web at www.strutterswithaz.webs.com. Fat Shop. Power through anything. Every so often in the field, 
You're presented with an opportunity to make your dreams come true. Write memories and to capture the hunt forever. Capture your hunt with the insane archery bow camera mount as seen on DeerHunterFan.com TV. That was a real nice buck and another real nice shot as well. I've never done an uh, antelope stalk hunt, but I have been involved in quite a few turkey stalks as in western New York these eastern birds are very smart and they can hen up very fast the second they hit the ground you're not calling them in and this past spring Travis and I were on a hunt where I was cameraman and we tried calling them in he wasn't coming so we had to go get him silent. Spot some turkeys from the road. About six or eight of them. Right down here by the creek bottom. We're going to try to stalk down. Give a call or else just stalk right up on them. see us. They're coming this way, Travis. Look at, look at me. They're coming this way. As soon as we get a chance, let's go to that road. We're gonna have to get low. But wait, that one's still right there. Okay. And it's a gobbler. Nice one. Easy. You gotta get low before you move side to side. I think he's under his wing. We can get down. Nice and slow. I mean like like this.
shooting position. Let's not go any closer. field up. Cornfield. Is that the cornfield? That plow field right there. Yep, they're going into it. Right now. There goes that two ends and a jake. Go get him. Hurry up. Stay on. Run him down. <sighs> Beautiful bird. Yes. Last night we seen these birds strutting up in this field, and I thought it'd be a good chance to get one if we had a chance this morning. So we took the opportunity with the rain, got out of work early, and uh, snuck up on this bird once, and uh, wasn't working, so we snuck around the hill and got a good chance at him. Brian was coaching me and keeping me calm. And <laughs> yeah, we spotted him the first time from the road, probably ah, 300 yards, probably 300, 400 yards. We just couldn't get them to come in. They started up over the hill, right towards us, turned around left, and. Travis said, you know, we probably got one shot at it if we get to sneak around that gas well. I didn't think we were going to be able to pull it off. I thought we were making too much noise going through the woods, but it uh, must have been just enough cover with the, with the rain and the wind that we were okay and popped up for about a 30-yard shot. Yeah. And then uh, some follow-up shots, but we got him down. We, yeah, we got him. So there it was. That was a real nice bird. That was a fun hunt. Uh, nice little cardio workout as well, chasing them down, but <laughs> that's going to do it for this week on DeerHunterFan.com TV. I'm Brian Madison, and we'll see you next time. Dude, that's high tower. Team Western New York, nice, nice eight point. Kicker back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
That's our big eight. That's Butch. DeerNerFan.com TV is sponsored by Bee Stinger, Gold Tip, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Insane Archery, Timberland Realty, Longhorn Fab Shop, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Vapor Trail, and also by these fine sponsors. And DeerHunterFan.com, an original online free hunting show.